on YouTube. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month, what have you. I am going to be doing a little DIY and I kind of want to show you uh, the whole process of what I'm going to be doing. I want to try and make an ecosphere. So I'm going to show you the process and how I do it. And I am by no means an expert or someone who knows what they're doing in this sort of field. I did have a turtle once and believe it or not, it ran away. <laughs> Jesus, why am I so awkward? Um, but yeah, I have some stuff set up here. We are going to take our experiment outside. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. It It's like holding off for now, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. I kind of want to do it outside. So yeah, we're going to go outside. I'm going to stop rambling. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> so uh, this is the jar or I guess the tank that I'm going to be using. It is a one gallon cookie jar <laughs> that I got at Walmart. So we're going to be using this to house our little uh, creature in here. But first we have to make our substrate or the layer of um, soil and I'm also going to be using a little bit of gravel as well. Okay. Just this much is fine. Mm, and I want to create some uneven terrain here, so I think I might leave it just like that anyway. So whenever you're using soil like this, sorry, whenever you're using soil like this, uh, you need some sort of gravel to top it off. So for one, so that the water doesn't become cloudy or doesn't become dirty with the soil that you use. I think there was also another reason. It was like a health concern or something. It was to protect like the whatever um, animal that you have inside. I have here gravel that I honestly just got from my backyard. <laughs> An alternative that you can do for soil, you can also just use aqua soil or like the commercial soil that you use for, for, um, for tank. That's why. So I have here some just regular gravel. done now uh, with our substrate so now we are going to yeah I'm gonna do the water first if you are going to be using tap water you want to make sure that your tap water is not chlorinated or I'm using here the Nutrifin aqua plus and this is what's going to dechlorinate your water and make sure that the water is safe for your uh, animal yeah Okay, so I'm back. So here I have some water here. I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I only want some water so that I'll be able to put in my plant that I have here. So I'm just going to put a little bit. interesting. Jesus. I didn't expect this to happen. Jesus. Um, maybe it's just because... Maybe the soil was a bad idea. I don't really know anymore. <laughs> I'm so lost. Yeah, this is what we're dealing with. I'm not really too sure if I'm doing the right thing here. Um, there is like, I didn't, I didn't take into consideration that maybe <laughs> there, there might be a little bit of floaties from the soil that might pop up. These are just perlites. Um, so I'm gonna try and take out as much of this as I can um, and see if I can 
let like the water settle down before I put in the snail because I don't want my snail to get lost <laughs> in its own home. So I'm gonna be doing this that right now. 